Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Libra placement that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything you see in this video, rings, any sort of thing, all on my website. Link for that is in the description box. At the end, I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. This is going to be for the third week of January. Although time is not in the year, we are all on different timelines. This could have already happened. This may ha be happening now or this may happen in the future. Alrighty, your cards came out perfectly all in one shot, straight to the point. Bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at Major Arcana for Taurus, Hierophant Energy. Definitely some changes and some commitments going to be happening for you coming into your reality, whether that is just commitment to self, commitment to something else, someone else, another organization, whatever that is. But you're definitely being looked up to. Definitely could be committing to, you know, improving your parenting skills, even, you know, being a better sibling. It's going to be different for every single one of us, but definitely committing yourself. This is the new year. Usually commitments are made in the new year, right? That new year, new me energy. You guys could be subscribing to that. But it seems like it's going to happen. This is um, divine energy. This is little control you have over this. Big changes energetically that are going to be happening or aligning for you okay in your past position we are starting with the king of cups and the ace of pentacles beautiful energy here could be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces, or a scorpio or this could be you definitely speaking of emotions here king of cups is someone that usually has very very deep running feelings for something person place whatever it is usually doesn't express it too much this type of energy um you know that they, they 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 uh they're very, what's the word, uh, selective with who they offer their love to, right? Very selective. They don't just give it out like that. The Queen of Cups, she's a little bit more open. She's a little bit more giving. King of Cups, not so much. If he gives you his cups, he, you, he, he, he's yours for life, right? Especially with this Ace of Pentacles here. Beautiful energy, new beginnings, new potentials, new year energy, definitely. Um, this is an offer. Some of you could literally be getting some sort of love offer from a King of Cups energy. You could be presenting a, a sturdy, stable, committed offer to a King of Cups energy. But either way, commitment, uh, something new that has the potential to really grow here. Definitely could be starting a new job you really love too. I just heard for some of you. Definitely for some of you, you may be receiving some sort of job offer, career offer that you are going to really, really love and you are going to want to commit yourself to. And this commitment is going to transform your life, Scorpio energy. So definitely could be dealing with a water sign for some of you, but this is huge. Your life will probably not look the same after this commitment is made, after this offer is presented. Let's move on to your present position, Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So definitely someone want, is wanting to put in some work here. Someone could also be very busy working on something in particular, getting their money together, going to the gym, you know, lots of new year, new me sort of energy I'm getting here. Committing to things, committing to new practices, new regimens, new mindsets, new people, right? Uh, with the Nine of Swords, though, somebody has a lot of anxiety. This is my uh, anxiety card. You know, can't sleep, can't eat, really ruminating about the same thing probably over and over. This could be you. I'm getting this is the King of Cups, though. I'm getting all of this is the King of Cups, actually. You will know if you're the King of Cups or not. If you know, you know your story, put yourself where you fit. But I'm not picking this up as your energy. There definitely could be someone else. In this king of cups energy that is wanting to present this sort of offer ace of pentacles energy to you right because there's a lot of anxiety surrounding this offer in your future position two of pentacles and the seven of cups definitely confusion someone's juggling how to go about doing something that is the, that's exactly what i'm seeing here there's someone that wants to offer you something, whether this is an organization, a person, you know, whatever it is. There's someone that is very emotionally invested in whatever it is you've got going on. And there is an offer that wants to be presented. 
Someone is working very, very hard right now, either to get their money together or to just get their life together. Causing a lot of anxiety about presenting this offer though. There's a lot of anxiety around this offer. Maybe this person is not sure if you'll accept. Definitely going back and forth. I'm definitely getting a sense of how do I go about doing this, right? Planning energy. I could do this, I could do this. It's like almost like this person has one shot type of energy, right? Well, I did see the Queen of Wands underneath there. I was kind of getting up that you guys are showing up as the Queen of Wands. I mean, I'm a female, it does not matter. This is just very magnetic energy, very creative energy, very intuitive energy, right? Can't resist this type of energy. And it would make sense that the King of Cups is looking directly at this sort of, uh, sort of uh, energy of the Queen of Wands. Maybe secretly has been watching for a very long time or holding back the expression. But it looks like someone is definitely going to be coming out of this Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands here, making decisions, making decisions, making plans, also an energy of new contracts and new partnerships. So someone's making plans for the future, absolutely. There's definitely someone that is wanting to approach you, not sure how to go about approaching you, not sure how to make this gesture, but they want it to be big. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. This could be someone you know, someone you don't know. Right? Definitely this person has a lot of emotion invested into the situation already. There is a commitment that wants to be presented, it looks like, with that Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. But someone's very, very nervous and riddled with anxiety about it. Really confused as to how to go about executing this offer. There could have also been an offer made in the past that wasn't accepted. I don't think so, though. I think this is probably future energy for a lot of you. What do we have for Libra? Be at home, number 68, Wombat Spirit. Definitely family energy. But this is uh, definitely stability, some sort of securing some sort of foundation, making some sort of foundation solid. The home is the is the heart, right? Yeah, that's this King of Pentacles, or if you're the King of Pentacles, then definitely you're wanting to make something serious. You want to make something a lot more serious than it has been. Okay, let's get Moonology for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Third week of January, messages for their greatest and highest good. One card for Libra, please. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. One card for Libra, third week of January. Let me move out of the, the microphone a little bit. Libra, what do we have for Libra? It's like someone doesn't know what to say. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. This could be why. There has been so much anxiety, confusion. How do I do this? Self-esteem issues going on here. Someone might look at you in a very hard regard. I told you, you were coming in as the queen of wands, male or female. This just means you're not chasing anything. You're very much in feminine energy. Ready to receive, but you're not going to chase anything. Whoever this is, is an action-oriented energy or is about to be or is trying to be. But there definitely is some uh, illusions around self-worth going on. That's what this eight of nine of swords is about. Overthinking. This is why it's so hard for them to think of a plan to present this thing to you because they look at you in such a high regard. This could be you, the Hierophant. Public figure sort of energy. Or this is how they feel about you, right? They very much look at you in high regard. And they want to do this right. They don't want to mess it up. So it's like you need the best of the best. They, they got to bring their best. Okay, someone's very much losing sleep over bringing their best presentation to you. Maybe maybe this is a past person. For some of you, it won't be. This is just someone you probably know, but has this has not been expressed yet. Or this is someone you have dealt with and it wasn't so good the first time around. So they're very much, it's important to them that they get this right this time. I don't see any bad blood. So this is some toxic shit. This ain't for you. Okay. 
this is not some toxic sort of past person. There might have been bumps, but I don't think this is an unforgivable situation. Lumira. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Beautiful energy. This is definitely could be something you have wanted for a while. The both of you could have wanted this for a while. This person could have wanted this for a while. But there were some confidence issues here. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns. Healing. Rewriting the future. This is exactly what is being healed. Self-esteem. Lack of confidence. Lack of the ability to just go after whatever it is your heart is desiring. Because King of, King of Cups, definitely, there's heart desires there. The desire is to make something stable and committed and solid. Even maybe to build a home if that is applicable. Right? Or it could just be, you know, someone's wanting to buy a house or something. And obviously, it's a very big commitment. Working very hard to, you know, work towards affording this house. But definitely much afraid of, you know, the responsibility. Afraid of, like, what if I the house? Then what? Will I be able to keep this up? Making sure all the T's and the I's are dotted. Because maybe there is a house that you, that you love very much. And have fallen in love with. Maybe it's a bit out of your budget. But this is telling me if that's the case, you, you will get the money. You will have the security that you need in order to achieve this. Half of the mission is believing you can do it and trusting that you can maintain it. That is the trick. Let the universe do everything else. You know, with that transformation energy and the hierophant energy that the universe is definitely watching. You know, this is definitely meant to transform you or someone you are connected to. Anyways, Libra, that is the message I have for you this week. I really do hope that resonates with every single one of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. Happy New Year, and I will see you next week.